crazy isn't it eh? big well guys welcome back to another video back out on another adventure here on vancouver island i've met up with adam came out from vancouver early this morning so i've met up with adam uh, amanda colin and gavin and there's also we've got a bit of a guide today we've got a guy called eric with us that knows this area pretty well so this is what we're doing we're exploring this mossy grove of trees it's really nice now we had a lot of rain this morning but now we're actually getting break we're getting light coming into this forest so we're going to see what shots we can get and we're staying here tonight so i'll hopefully get some images today uh see what tonight brings hopefully the rain holds off uh so what we're going to do now we've came to this first amazing tree that we wanted to see now being careful trying not to flatten the ferns the ferns are pretty much flat already uh, because it has been winter time we've had a lot of snow uh, but it's aye, it's some size it's absolutely beautiful it's gonna be <laughs> tricky because it's so busy you say that a lot we just need a bit of mist a bit of mist So I've got set up for the shot here, I get a shot of this grand tree, it's amazing how this uh, branch is still hanging on for its life on the side of this tree because it really is that thick and then you've got all the branches above and they're also coated with these really thick mosses, it's an amazing sight to see and with the surrounding moss and mossy trees uh, gives it a lovely forest feel. Now the problem that we're up against in here, I said earlier when we came in, it's been battered by the storms and the snow. We've had a lot of snow in this area and it's flattened the ferns, so the ferns don't look that attractive. Uh, so what I wanted to do is get the camera off a tripod and that's what we've done. And everyone's just going round in circles, round the tree, uh, looking for the best composition and the best area to get a shot of it. Now what I've decided to do, because the ferns are flat, They've been flattened off with all the snow. I want to get some elevation. Now I've chose this direction because in this photographing from the other side, you introduce Sky into the shot and that's what I don't want. And also from the angle that I've picked, I'll put some video up for you. It actually leads from the left corner over to the right hand side. And I've been able to incorporate a tree also um, to the right hand side. It just balances the shot out. But not only that, the further up you go up the tree, there's also more uh, of these thick branches. So that's what I want to capture. And the main leading branch, it leads off at an angle. It's going to help create some depth. I'm just hoping to get some light. You know, if I get some, some nice light coming in, it's going to give it a lot more depth. It's going to give it a bit more contrast. There's already a load of vibrant colour there, but I put the polarizer on. I'm shooting it at 35mm with the Sony 35mm mil GM uh, prime lens, uh, f16, focusing the third into the shot. That's getting everything sharp that I want sharp. I don't have to worry too much about the foreground because, like I said before, I'm discarding quite a lot of that, that uh, forest floor because it's untidy and it's messy. Now what I want to incorporate in this shot, I want to work with the three main trees here that you can see. 
Now, you'll be able to see that tree that I photographed earlier with that thick branch. Now, what I'm wanting to do is shoot and photograph from the other side and try and fill the right hand side of the image uh, with that tree, with that thick mossy branch leading off. And as it leads over, we've got this larger tree in the centre here. There's a nice fern uh, against the front of this larger tree. And then we've got these two smaller trees to the left hand side. So we've got these three trees with the main one filling the right hand side of the shot. Uh, I've got the polarizer on, take some of the sheen off these ferns because we are still getting some sheen. But when the light comes out, it's really diffused. Got still got a bit of cloud cover there, so it doesn't get too harsh. Um, we're all still jostling for position, uh, trying to get different shots, varying our shots. And that's what you've got to do when you come out. You've got to try and vary your shots as much as you can. Try as many compositions as you can. And then when you go back, you've got a choice. You know, you can go back, see what compositions work. And if you ever come back again, you can fine tune those compositions. I'm going to walk back to where we came in because uh, there was some rather nice trees here. It's been a delight to have a look at this tree, so I'll put the image on the screen above and I hope you like it. So I've decided to come to the other side of the tree. So we're really working this tree today. And like I said earlier, it's always good just to slow things down, concentrate on the one subject and see how many shots you can make uh, of the subject. And because this is so vast, it's so big and there's so much interest, uh, it makes, makes a great subject to walk around and try different compositions. So what I've gone, gone for now, it's a bit later in the afternoon now, we're getting some really nice light um, I've took some shots from behind, I've, I've took another shot incorporating trees uh, to the side of it. Now what I wanted to do, because where the light is now, it's actually making its way through a gap in the canopy. It's hitting the side of the, the branch and I want the branch coming towards us, so that's what I'm going for. Put the 35 mil on again, uh, put the polarizer on. Now every now and again we get some lovely diffused light, so that's what I'm after. Now, because the forest floor, like I said earlier, because it's messy, I'm actually going to discard some of the forest floor. Some of the tree lying above, it's quite bright, um, so it's probably going to be a pano style shot uh, with this branch leading out. And it's probably going to be the last shot for today. Adam's just coming in to see what he can capture at this side, and uh, we're just all trying our best to come up with something different. So it'll be interesting to see other people's thoughts and views and see what images they come up with uh, from today. So I'll get back, I'll get this shot and I'll put it on the screen above.
be able to see the, the luxury that the rest of the guys had last night and you know I had the old tent there. Apparently I was snoring a bit last night. Just <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <was> the ocean. <laughs> last time it was music. This time it was snoring. Uh, so you can't nice. win. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. You know where we're going today? Why do you, why do, you do your dishes? <laughs> um Any ideas where you've had to take today? Well, I thought we were just going to go back to the Grove. Check out my new merch, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made our way from where we were camping last night and we've came back to the location that we came to yesterday where we had that huge branch uh, leading off that tree. See if we can get another shot. Uh, but it's been a great couple of days. We had a good laugh last night. Probably a bit too much drink. Uh, uh, but, it, but it's been good fun. Now it's called Mossaman Grove or something like that. I'll put it on the screen above. Uh, but I said to Adam, you know, where do you fancy going? And he really wanted to check a bit more of this area out just to see if there was any more images to be had. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We've got some beautiful light this morning. So you never know. We did have some fog while we were driving up here, but that's dissipated now. So I'm going to work our way down into this grove and see what we can get. Well, it's absolutely beautiful in here. Um, it's very busy, um, but just to be wandering through this grove with these lovely mossy thick trees. Um, it's a pleasure, it's an absolute pleasure. Now we have been here for some time uh, because we came here yesterday, we photographed that mossy branch, that thick mossy branch. Uh, we've got quite a few images of that. Now the rest of it, you've really got to concentrate and try and uh, make order out of the chaos because it is really busy and the fact that all the ferns are flattened uh, it, it doesn't help with it at all but I think I've came across probably my favourite composition over the last couple of days. Now what I like you've got this big tree reaching off I love the curve and the shape on it it's got all these mosses it's got ferns it's got lots of interest and then just back behind that tree you have, you've also got this one so you've got two dominating subjects in the scene. Now what I've made sure to do is make sure to get some separation between these two trees so they don't overlap in any way but I just love the way they mimic each other and they arch out the way. Now what I also wanted to do was try and include some in the top right corner and the top left corner so if you notice over to my left shoulder there there's part of a tree um, in that top corner just to give it a bit of interest, you know, it kind of grounds the image at the left hand side, uh, your right hand side, should I say. And then beyond this tree, you'll see that there's a, a smaller tree bending out into the frame, uh, out to the left hand side. It's catching some nice reflective light from the sky and it's also helping create some depth at the same time. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'll put some video of the composition that I'm going for. I'm putting the polarizer on. We had a lot of rain overnight, um, so there's quite a lot of sheen on these leaves, so I want to get rid of that sheen. So I'm going to go back, get this shot. I'm shooting at F16, focusing on the first tree in the immediate foreground there. That's getting everything sharp that I want sharp. I am going to underexpose it slightly. We are getting some bright highlights in the, the very background.
nice to get a different perspective on this tree so the tree trunk on this side it's just reaching over so that's what I want to capture now where the sun's coming up it's actually casting some light as long as you wait for it to be diffused with some cloud you're getting some nice soft diffused light hitting the backs of these mosses so they really stand out give it plenty of contrast so what I'm going for is a pano style shot just a really wide shot uh, utilizing this branch now I don't want to go too wide uh, because I've got a tree there to the left hand side in, in front of this thick branch and I find it a bit off-putting so what I want to do is just capture the main interest of this branch leading over I'm using some of the ferns in the foreground not much because they are really messy so it's just going to be a thin strip of the green ferns at the base of the shot then it's about this huge thick branch utilizing some of the trees above you know I've got some lovely mosses hanging down behind this branch itself and I'm managing to keep the sky out of the shot so that's great now I am under exposing slightly I've got the polarizer on so it's taking some of the sheen off these ferns that are in the foreground and I think it will make a nice shot uh, not sure if we're going to get another uh, it's getting close to midday now and I've got to head back to the ferry, uh, to the ferry. Gavin and Amanda's already got, gone back, they've actually already left. So I'm just going to get back, get this shot, I'll put it on the screen above, and I hope you like it. Absolutely beautiful. Adam's trying to crack off a couple of images before we leave because I have got to go to the ferry. Adam's going to take us to the ferry, but what a weekend it's been. Had a bit of uh, too much drink last night, should I say. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Adam was snoring a bit, so it kept us up best part yeah, of the night. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it's been a blast, it has, you know, the beer's just added to it. <laughs> and uh, it made for the hard day, you know, when we started this morning, everyone was a bit rough, a bit hungover, but we carried on. We came back to, what is it, Mossman's, Mossman's Grove. Mossman, Mossman Grove. Yeah. Uh, it's a small little area, so you haven't got much uh, room to move when it comes to photography, especially when there's a few of you here, but we've battled on and I think we've came away with some images. How about you? I think so. I think this is my favorite image. This is what, uh, a scene that Brian found and I'm stealing. Yeah, but but I no, it is. It's really, but I think, I think it needs something more. It needs something in the background, some atmosphere or something. Uh, we didn't expect it to be as sunny as it is today. It's quite crazy. It was actually supposed to rain all day today, but because we're getting this sunlight, it's really highlighting that background, and it just makes it look really busy. So what he's saying is, if we had some atmosphere there, or if it was a bit duller it would calm that background down and your foreground subjects, the two main trees would stand yeah. out a lot more. So having that extra light, as nice as it is, it starts to confuse things and it, it you know, it's less simplified, should I say. Yeah, and, and it's very busy to start with, so it yeah. doesn't help. Right, so if you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Adam's channel. It's been an absolute blast meeting up with Gavin and Amanda, Colin and Eric, you know, thanks to Eric for showing us this little location and I'm sure we'll be back because in the springtime when these ferns start to, to grow again, the forest will come back to life. So I'm sure it'll look a lot different. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye. Fancy stealing my shot. Where's this other shot you were looking at? Uh, it didn't work, mate. <laughs>